the failure to develop a useful jetpack is primarily due to the physics of making a human being fly. We're just not aerodynamic creatures. Nothing in the shape of a human creates lift when we're moving through the air. That means that a jetpack has to create all the lift with pure thrust. Generating that much thrust uses a lot of fuel. The true barrier to a useful jetpack development is the weight of the fuel. We have jetpacks, but the reality is they only work for around 30 seconds. Adding more fuel to prolonged flight time would make the jetpack heavier, requiring even more fuel. Of course, in the more than 50 years since the first jetpacks were developed, we've made some amazing developments in technology. Surely if we applied our best scientific minds to the problem, we could overcome these flaws and create functional jetpacks. One company seems to be doing just that. The Martin Jetpack is a game changer for aviation. It's been designed to be the world's most practical and safest piloted hovering air vehicle. It can be flown manned, unmanned or as a mule. After 35 years of dedicated research, and using the most advanced composite technology available alongside industry standard aviation practices, they have produced an exceptional aircraft that produces real capability for their customers, particularly in the role of saving lives. It uses a petrol engine with two ducted fans to provide lift. It's specified to have a maximum speed of 40 km an hour, a flight ceiling of 2,500 feet, a range of 15 to 20 km, and endurance of around 28 minutes flight. Empty weight is 200 kg. On the 29th of May 2011, the Martin Jetpack successfully completed a remotely controlled unmanned test flight to 5,000 feet above sea level and carried out successful tests of its ballistic parachute. A second version of the Martin Jetpack received approval from the New Zealand Civil Aviation Authority to begin manned flight testing in August 2013. According to an investor update from August 2016, additional funding will be required to complete the certification process. Governments are expected to be a large share of the initial consumers. The first production model is aimed at military and first responders emergency crews, such as police, firefighters and medical personnel. They hope this will give them faster response times, to reach areas inaccessible by road, and to get to the top of buildings quickly. Interested buyers include the government of the United Arab Emirates. It was reported in November 2015 that Dubai had placed an initial order of 20 units, simulators and training for delivery in 2016. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.